everyone, it's Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am super blessed to be part of Courtney's 10K subscriber hop celebration. Courtney has become very, very important to me. She's become a very good friend and I appreciate her. She's become kind of a mentor too here as far as my channel on YouTube. And this hop is pretty cool because there are 10 videos for 10,000 subscribers and there are 10 giveaways. The giveaway for my channel is going to be the stamp set that I'm using, the Gina K uh, floral stamp set. Um, I really was drawn to this stamp set and I wanted to kind of experiment and I thought that uh, it gave me a lot of real estate in the flowers to do that. So the first thing I did was stamp the image on some Nina 80 pound um, solar white cardstock and I was kind of messing with the placement here. I just had an idea of this card. I hadn't quite sketched it out. A lot of times I sketch my stuff out. This time I did not. So I used my Ink on 3 blackout ink here to stamp my image and I did stamp it a few times because you saw me get it out of the package. It's brand new never used it before and a lot of times brand new stamps have kind of a layer on them that makes the ink kind of pill up a little bit usually not too bad on better quality stamps and the stamp was fine actually I think I just had kind of not given it good pressure everywhere then I also stamped it on a piece of the Gina K masking magic paper and I'm going to be using that in a little bit uh, to do my coloring I wanted to sort of match the new Rena K enamels and she has they're called electro pop neon enamels the two colors that I'm going to be using are poppin pink and screamin green and I tried to get a close match to the poppin pink and I will tell you that I matched it so well that I feel like if I did this card again I would go darker so that the um, poppin pink would pop a little bit more but part of this experiment for me is I wanted to try out that new um, deco foil transfer blanco um, transfer gel blanco it is the dries white um, deco foil gel it's very much like the original except for it dries white um, this is what they recommend to use with the Rena K uh, electro pop neon enamels and I think in my <laughs> Um, intro there I called them the fluorescent enamels it's, they're same the same thing but these say neon so if you're looking for that product I will have it linked below but it is neon enamels anyway back to this um, deco foil transfer gel blanco which just means white it just dries white and I wanted to try it out but I wanted to try something kind of unique I have not seen anybody paint with this stuff before there could be a reason why they haven't done it we will uh, experiment with that in a little bit but first I'm coloring the floral here and I did just speed the coloring up to two times I normally kind of speed up my coloring to four times um, but I chose to just color one flower on camera um, so I could slow the coloring down and just assume a repeat 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 because there's four other flowers on here I went all the way from the fluorescent red violet one to the RV 06 RV 14 and then I also used the RV 69 as my deepest color and I know that seems really drastic to go from that um, fluorescent red violet one all the way to that RV 69 but it brings this amazing amount of depth to this flower and I am super glad that I pulled in that very dark color. Now, when I color, I usually do pull in a dark color. But if you watch Courtney, and that's who we're here to celebrate, she talks about using a scary dark. She um, is very good at teaching how to get good contrast in your coloring. <laughs> Courtney is the queen of one layer scenes she um, definitely does those well she definitely um, will beat into your head that when you are coloring if you do not want your coloring to look flat you need to 
put a scary dark in your coloring. And you can see here that there is a lot of dimension in those flowers because I use that really, really light color and a really, really dark color. I prefer four color blend and so does she. They don't always, sometimes I use a two color blend, three color blend, sometimes I use a single color. It depends on what I'm coloring and how much time I have and how many of my little people need something. <laughs> So here for the leaves, now remember I am trying to match this screaming green. I used the fluorescent yellow green one, fluorescent yellow green two, the green, the G, the green 09, which is called, what is that sucker called? It's got a big old long name. Verona C, Verona C green, that's what it's called. I used that one and then I pulled in the G17 and just for kicks let's see what that one actually called too. Forest Green. We never call them by their names do we? It's always by their number when you're a Copa colorist or crafter, card maker. It's always by the name and I know on one of the sites that I order Copics from they're by their name and not their number and it, it's confusing to me. I struggle. Why can't we just all get along and use the same thing? So here I'm showing the leaves and I just colored them basically the same. I kept the darkest where I needed the shadows and blended it out to the lightest. And here I cut my mask. Just I didn't have to cut it all the way out. I do wish I would have trimmed it just a little bit better on the top because um, my stenciling that I'm going to put over this, it, I would have liked it to taper off a little bit better. But it was fine. It did work fine. So here I put this stencil down, and this is Gina K stencil. I did pick this up just for this um, card, um, this idea. I have used it quite a few times. It's kind of a basic stencil, and I think it's going to be one of my go-tos. I really do love it. It's just stripes, and depending on how you put it on your card, you could get vertical stripes. And this one is called Sassy Stripes. It is a Gina K Designs. The reason you see all this Gina K Designs stuff is because I wanted to ensure that I got some newer product to play with for this hop. Something that we could find because the, the stamp set that we're using is going to be um, the prize for each of the channels. And I live in Wisconsin and Gina K Designs happens to also be in Wisconsin. So I crossed my fingers and hoped I would get it on time. And I did. Miss Gina K packed it herself. <laughs> so here I'm using this super tiny double zero paintbrush and this Blanco gel. And I am painting these stripes on these flowers. These flowers to me looked like petunias. Um, well, not exactly, but they will look like, the, I think they're a rose, but they will look like a petunia when I'm done. My grandma, she had this, my, well, my granny, she had this amazing green thumb. She was from Germany and she could grow all the things. She had these petunias, or I think they were petunias, maybe they were trumpet vines. Anyway, these turned out to be whatever those were that were on the side of her garage. When I was a kid, it was the coolest thing. It would climb up, it would make these giant stripey looking flowers, and I just thought that they were the coolest flowers ever. She also had like these bleeding heart, I don't even know if that's what they call they're called, but they look like they have hearts and like little teardrops on them. Those those are pretty cool too, but uh, anyway, back to the flowers. I painted those little stripes on the flowers and then I painted the leaves. Just little stripes here and there. I wish I would have done this in two steps because it was a little difficult when I went to process this and put the enamels on. I had to be really creative and um, I wasn't, I, I didn't want to be that creative while I was creating, I guess. So here I decided I needed to have a striped piece of something to match. So I pulled out that stencil because I'm in love with this stencil and I used this Blanco gel on black cardstock. I really in the end only needed a small strip but I at this point wasn't sure what I was going to actually do with it. I just knew that I wanted um, a real graphic piece with this stencil because I, I stenciled it on the background but it's really light and soft. 
So here I took the <laughs> these enamels and because I had done the leaves and the flowers, I had to like cut this up in little pieces. The cool stuff, the, this stuff is super neat. You can see through it. I was not expecting that when I got it out of the package. I thought it would be like not see-through. Like um, for some reason I had thought about like the fuzzy um, flocking transfer sheets. You know how the, the paper on the back? I thought this would be like that and, and they are not. <laughs> so I layered all these little green pieces and then um, I just layered a bigger piece of the pink over top, which is the pop and pink. Uh, and then I took um, and ran that through my laminator. Now I just use this cheap Amazon laminator and I always say that I should stop calling it a cheap laminator. It does all sorts of work for me. Um, waited till that heated up. I did have it on the uh, um, three mil setting, which I believe is like less hot. Um, and I always try to run everything through three times. I do it face up, face down, face up. I find I get a really good transfer with this machine. Um, I just, I don't know. I think all machines are different. Just play with yours. So here I ran this part through and I was kind of disappointed when I pulled this off because I was hoping for more of an impact. I love this card. Don't get me wrong, but I wish I would have colored those flowers just a little bit darker so that that pink would have been much more brilliant. But I did get that effect, that striated floral effect that I was absolutely looking for. And I did have a piece of the pink transfer where I didn't want it. And I just took, well, first I tried with my, um, razor knife and then that didn't work and then I just used my sand eraser there. Then I trimmed off just a little piece of this floral so it kind of hung over and here I'm using a sticky note and I am just edging where the, the parts of the actual image are so that that won't be white. I didn't want a white border on that. I cut it right on the line or right on the edge of the line. So here I'm going to add my sentiment. I still haven't quite decided where I'm going with this card. We're adding a sentiment and I still don't know what's going on. So I wanted to talk just a minute about Courtney while you see me finish up here. Um, she was one of the, the people that started the Collective Creators. Now I have been watching Courtney for a long time um, since, well, she hasn't been on YouTube all that long, honestly, but um, since her first few videos, and I've actually watched all of her videos, every last one of them, all the way back to the first one. Um, and she is very uh, good at teaching um, how to kind of jump over that fear of adding dark color in with your coloring. Uh, she'll show you perspective and um, how to draw, kind of draw a scene. She's very good about not believing she can draw a scene, but she can. Um, here I was showing you how kind of distressed that came out because my um, Blanco gel was not even and um, straight. Uh, so if you watch Courtney's channel, which you should, um, you'll learn a lot about stepping outside that box of fear when it comes to your coloring. After all, it is just a piece of paper and you are enjoying yourself because um, coloring is enjoyable. So you know, go for it. Add the dark color. Don't worry. Don't be scared. Add the scary dark color. Um, but she has this hop set up here and, you know, she has done quite a few things. When she did a 5k, she did a card swap where she paired people up that were her subscribers and we sent each other a card. It had nothing to do with her channel. It was just about, um, building friendships inside the community you know, the YouTube community. Currently, she has a group on Facebook called Handmade Happiness. And, um, oh, real quick, I put that double-sided tape on there and then I glued this down. Well, first it wasn't lined up, but I glued this down and made sure I had an even border. And then I peeled up my actual panel um, because I wanted to pop that part up, but I wanted to have everything lined up nice and even. Um, so this Handmade Happiness group, it's super fun. We do um, a card, a, like card share. You can share all sorts of stuff. Um, we're currently kind of in the middle of a get to know the creator live every, like every day they're going up. We do a, a monthly hop, um, YouTube and blog hops and all sorts of stuff. There is contests and just 
she's building kind of a community. And now she announces she is going to be um, <laughs> starting an online magazine, basically, um, called Create and Ink Spire. Um, it's going to launch June 1st, and then July, she's going to be introducing a card kit. So um, I'm super, super looking forward to that, and I am so proud of her for following her dreams and jumping into the scary dark, because you just never know. Um, so that brought us to this hop, and she wanted to do something kind of amazing for 10K, um, because most people don't reach 10K within the amount of time she's been on YouTube, which I believe has been just over two years. Like, that's a ridiculously short amount of time to have amassed a 10,000 people following. Um, so she wanted to do 10 creators with 10 videos and 10 giveaways. So on each channel, you will see whatever their main stamp set is. That's what the, the giveaway is for their channel. And uh, I would encourage you to hop along and stop at Courtney's channel for sure and congratulate her because she deserves it. Um, here are some close-up shots of my card. If you have any questions on um, this product or the process I used, I would love to talk to you in the comments. Um, and please ring the bell, subscribe. And I mean, I always love to chat in the comments. I will always reply. Um, which you don't always see on some of the larger channels, and it's just because they're busy, folks. But I am not yet too busy to reply, and I very much appreciate you. So with that being said, and as I always say here, thank you for stopping by, and give cards generously. Bye!